So when I gave my life to Christ and I started that journey and um, my husband would say, okay, now we're going to church, we're going to give. And let me tell you one day, so we just, I'm going to give you a funny story. So we, we came to Kenya and we had started the process and I shipped a TV all the way from London for us to furnish our house when we got married. And when it got here, it's brand new in the box and it has just landed and we've just brought it in. And we had gone for a service somewhere and we come back into the house and I'm so excited about this TV. I'm like, yeah, yeah, your big screen has come. And he looks at me and he's like, can I tell you something? Will you be mad? And I was like, yeah, I know I will be mad. So let me, allow me not to promise that I'll not be mad. And he's like, guess what? We are going to give this TV away from where we were from. I was like, you're mad. You're crazy. That's you and you alone. We are not, no, don't put us in that. You are doing that by yourself. And I remember I was so, I, I, I even got to a point where I was like, I think you have to question who gives you these ideas. You have to question who gives you this, this instruction. Because how do you expect us to ship I mean, we would have bought one here, but we shipped one all the way because it had to be a special one. And then it gets here, and then you tell me we go back and give it to a church where we were from. And you know, it was a beautiful church, but they didn't have the, the TV screens. And I remember we were seated somewhere and we couldn't see. We couldn't see what was going on. And I think that's when the Lord ministered to him that whatever you have, you have to bring it for the good of the house of the Lord. And I remember I just told him, allow me to sleep on it. I've not said yes, but allow me to sleep on it. And the Lord visited me. And that was the day I stopped doubting. I stopped doubting because Papa is a giver. Let me tell you guys, he can wake up one morning and come and tell me, we are giving out five million. And in my mind, you know, the, 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 the thing that comes to your mind is you resist for like a second. You're like, no, that was that was not from God. No, we are not doing that. But I have learned how because I have seen the power of giving. I remember I used to lose things. I used to lose phones. I was ever losing things. I remember I would have these attacks that were, I would have these dreams that just did not attacks, make sense. I remember it was just, and it was a pattern of things that would happen to me. I remember I would just very innocently sit somewhere and know that I have an amount of money with me and it would disappear. So in your mind, you believe you've lost it somewhere. And when I started tithing, it, it was a big fight for me because I'm like, why do I need to give 10%? Oh, that which I mean so much. Why not 1%? Why does it have to be 10? Yes, it's, it's little, but when you do not have the wisdom of the Lord, it looks a lot. And I really fought it. And I was like, no, I'm okay with going to give to the less fortunate. I'm okay with going to give to the children's home. Because in my mind, I'm saying, I know where it's going. I'm giving to children who are not able. I'm helping children who are not able to go to school to go to school. So, but this one, I'm just giving. I fought with it. But the day I chose to say, Lord, I'm going to start typing. Let me tell you, all those things that were a repetitive cycle in my life stopped. I stopped. I stopped losing things to this day the team that I work with can tell you I go places and leave my phone somewhere and they'll go back and find it there they'll tell you they're ever laughing they're like please check her phone because she most probably does not have it I will leave my handbag, even money, I will leave it somewhere and I will find it in the same place. It, what has also happened is I have seen the, the grace of good health through
when the Bible Quand la Bible talks about that he shall rebuke the devourer, the devourer comes in many ways. He can come in, as I say, losing things. He can come in sickness because it means you have to go to the hospital and spend a lot of money there. That is the devourer. I am enjoying good health because of giving to the Lord. I am enjoying peace because of giving to the Lord. When you give yourself to giving, to saying, Lord, especially that which pains you, let me tell you, that TV had me. It really, really hurt me. But when we gave it, I can't even tell you how, but our house that we moved in when we got married got fully furnished. And I can't even tell you how. Through that one TV. And that is when I think slowly the Lord through his servants was teaching me the power of giving. And right now you could come and tell me that you need to give your shoes and whatever I have with me to this person and I will do it straight away. I take every opportunity to give because I know the power.